Okay, so uh, we're at Queen Wilhelmina Park. Look at the look at the fog. We are up here in the clouds, quite literally in the clouds. The weather can't decide what it wants to do. It was uh, sunny and clear and actually getting kind of hot just a minute ago. And now it's uh, foggy and cold again. So we've got this fog just rolling in around us here. Okay. It's really cool looking because you could just see sheets of it rolling in. <laughs> There's a good one. It just rolls down. Look at that. That is so cool. We're up in the clouds, man. Up in the clouds. The weather changes so fast up here in the mountains. It can be sunny and clear, and then you'll have a rain shower or a storm that pops out of nowhere, and five minutes later it's back to sun. Ooh, the tarp is, yeah. Uh, I'll take a ride up and uh, show the vista uh, up at the top of the hill looking over well, the once valley. Once the sun comes bit. back out, Nick, clears back out. Right. Now you ain't going to see Jack. You ain't going to see anything. I got to see it. Then literally, from the time. And then we, it just rolls in. And, from yeah. the time we turned around, the uh, vista and to came come back, back yeah. it just started yeah. dumping. Yeah, it well, just it is what it is. changes instantly. Look at that. Rolling downward. That's so cool looking. And that's not fog. That's a cloud. That's a cloud. Well, cloud is fog, but yeah. Yeah, but. That is so cool. Yeah, the uh, first time I stayed here at the resort, uh, I had been camping in two spots up past the railroad tracks there uh, the previous night, and then I ended up coming back here and stayed in the resort, and uh, a huge storm rolled through, and my bike was parked at the overlook, and you couldn't see it from the hotel. It was just <laughs> white. It was totally, totally whited out. Yeah. You know, even if we don't get to ride much today, it's still a beautiful day just to hang out. Yeah. I think we can ride today because the uh, the, the, lady up front the forecast said the weather's changed. Like it's, it's fifteen percent. Yeah, fifteen percent yeah. chance of rain. So yeah. it's just going to be like this, kind of foggy and windy. But I think we could ride it. See again, another reason to have hazard lights on the Riker. That's right. So if you have to go slow in foggy environments, yeah, they flash. We don't know when Neil is going to show up, so I don't know if we want to disappear or not. But yeah. I'll try to check in with him. The, See what is uh, that? What his schedule looks like. In, or is it further that? Is it further east? So it's the big. So the, that the, is. Big those are little baby wasps. Those tiny wasps. Yeah. Yeah, they're wasps. Them. They're little hornets. And, then it's and they're everywhere, circle. man. They're. Uh, at first, I thought they were basket. like those flies that look. No, like no. Bees these these are actually little hornets. Yeah. Once I saw the. And they are everywhere. Yeah. Once I saw the abdominal split, I was like, okay, yeah. Yeah. You're right. They love to land on me for no reason. It's amazing. And the rusty rotors just after one Mine night were rusty and then I took the ride and they're done. They're <laughs> yeah. clean again. Yeah. How are my front ones? The front ones aren't as bad. The rear one is rust rusty. Yeah. Now I just got a gnat in the eyeball. Get out of my eyeball, Matt. Yeah, watch out this big heavy beast. It's it's almost like cartoonish. Uh -huh. how light it is. It's, it's, it's like, like riding a, a BMX bike. You know, it's so small. And without the windscreen on here, you've got nothing in front of you, so it yeah. feels like a little supermoto. So you, you got the key in your pocket. Yes, yeah, so I do. Okay. We're doing a first time rider on a cub here. And then, yeah, you're good to go. And don't let those uh, eight and a half horsepower scare you now. <laughs> so it's uh, back on the heel for first, yeah. So neutral is at the bottom, four up. So it's not one down, four up? Nope, nope, neutral's oh, yeah. at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's not going to want to go back to his V Strom 1000 after this. <laughs> That's actually a cool looking fading. Away. Yeah, it is, just yeah. disappearing into the fog. He's gone. <laughs> We should do a, we should get our tents set up even like cleaner and do like the two or something. We could, yeah, I gotta clean up my mess. My hammock over there. I haven't, uh, I haven't shown my... I haven't even uh, mentioned your hammock. Yeah, you, like, oh. you gotta, you, I'll get the crap out of there and you can climb in. Uh, this is so. my Sierra Madre 9 Ox uh, setup. 
You can see the nice little logo on the bottom there, Ninox. Uh, it's a good sleep system, I like it. Uh, it's a little fiddly to set up because you got the spreader bars and you got all these tie outs everywhere. So it's not what I would call a quick deploy hammock solution. Uh, you're looking at 15 minutes, best case to get this set up each time. If you're really proficient in it, uh, that would be 15 minutes. If you're uh, you know, stumbling through it the first few times you get it set up, it's more like a half hour affair. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's good. And I got the dual layer uh, hammock, the Ninox itself. So it has the uh, pocket right here. And I just put a sleep pad in there uh, in the middle layer. So I don't need to put an underquilt on here. And it works great. Uh, I stayed nice and warm all night last night. It got down to high 50s and no problem at all. Uh, plenty spacious inside. I'll give a little view inside it later. Uh, but, uh, you know, no problem with condensation because you got the huge uh, mesh area and uh, it's got pullouts, so it's just it's cavernous and so it's really massive. And it's also got an integrated ridge line up here in the top. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Uh, but yeah, it's great. It's a, it's a really nice uh, sleep system. I also got the winter top shield for that, uh, so you zip off the net and uh, it's more of an enclosed uh, tarp material on top of it with a few breather panels of mesh in there. Yeah, it's a good system. So Nick is still rocking the same one that he had on his last trip. Uh, Eureka Sumo 2. Eureka Sumo 2, okay. Uh, and then, Two person my high end end, like two little people. Yeah, yeah two Not little two people. Average you you better like that second person. Uh, I'm okay with that. Then, uh, I'm not sure which one uh, Adrian is rocking this time. It's a tent that he bought a decade or more ago when he was working in Brazil. So this tent is from Brazil. Uh, it's the Trilhas and Rumos Cota 2. Yeah, there you go. So he, uh, he dusted this thing off and re-waterproofed it. And he's going to try to get a few more years out of this bad boy before he uh, upgrades. Trilhas e Humus. Don't know what that means. So apparently a two-person. It's Coda two, but uh, yeah, you better like that second person. Cool. So anyway, uh, we picked yeah, up another. We picked up another member of the crew here. <laughs> Excuse me very much. Um, so what's really good with the Suma two is not really. Suma? You know, for two people, but you know, have a full, you know, decent size air mattress. Yeah, but I yeah. have you get a twin air storage in there. front and a little room on the side for the gear down at the foot. Beer, of course, that's the important thing. It doesn't, it doesn't come with the tent, you have to get no. that extra. And the gear loft up in the top. Good stuff, man. And there's a admin pouch over there, so yeah. you can put you some know, little peak and, corner yeah. pouches on the ends. Yeah, but it's just easier stuff. to use, yeah, the top. Cool. Mesh all the way around where you don't see it's green, it's mesh, and then right. this rain fly. Good and breathy. Yep. Cool. Did really well in the uh, Texas heat oh, yeah. in July. Oh, yeah, when we did the Twisted Scissors. Uh, so, yeah, we picked up another uh, member of our campsite, uh, our neighbor here. Uh, he's out riding uh, Adrian's Cub right now. Uh, he came in last night after dark, had to set up his stuff <laughs> about 8.30. I bet that sucked. Um, he was going to head north uh, further into the Ozarks today, but uh, he's uh, decided to stay closer here. And he's just going to hang out with us because he had his for one day. We've got this pad for three days. So he's just going to come over here and camp with us, I guess. And then Neil is going to be joining us later today on the Mad Max Zuma 125. So I guess he'll set up over in here so somewhere. all the way down, it's neutral. All the way down one, is neutral. Two, three, four. Yep, that's it. Yeah. I'm used to all the way down to one, neutral, then... Right, the, traditional shift yeah, style, yeah. In, this in, is a different transmission. Okay, I didn't, I didn't quite understand it until Aaron had, had explained it to me, but... Release the you, lever yeah, slowly. When you, when you push the so don't, lever... Don't try to pop it. You can jam it on the heel, uh, either up or down. Uh, the motion down can be fast, but the release needs to be slow, because that's what re-engages the motor. Woo! Okay, now it's a whiteout. Man, you can't even see over there. Shut this down, save the battery. 